Hello everyone, welcome back to Fleet and today I'm going to show you the best server hostings to actually set up your own DayZ server. Now I will leave links all in the description down below to actually get to these servers quickly and these are some of the best ones you're going to get for DayZ. And also I will be showing you discount codes as well so you can actually save some money when you're actually buying your first server. But let's actually get straight into the video. So the first one we've got here is Survival Servers. So Survival Servers actually has a bunch of game servers but the one we are looking for is DayZ. So I will leave a link in the description down below to this website once you are here. Simply come over to the games uh, servers just here. And once you're hovering over this, simply just scroll down to DayZ just here. Click on that. Once you've clicked on that, it will now show you everything you're going to get with your servers. And if you scroll down even further, you can also see the plans they do have here as well. Now, depending on the server size you need, you can select in here. But quickly, I'm also going to showcase some of the stuff they do offer as well, which is the instant server setup, which is pretty good. So your server will get set up pretty quick. And also, you've got all these other options in here as well. There's so many options. I'm not going to go through every single one. But you've got a bunch of options here as well. you also got automatic custom server restart, which is actually pretty good. You always need a restart on servers. We've also got the control panels as well, which is actually very easy to navigate. So they have got some pretty decent control panels here. We've also got the ultra fast uh, SSD drives here as well, which is crucial for any server. You do need fast SSDs. We've also got a DDoS protection, which is great. You always need these for your servers as well. That is great that they do offer this. And over here, we've actually got some pretty good stuff over here as well, like the vanilla server 50 on 50 matches. We've also got in-store mods and plugins easily, access to third-party tools, and you just got some basic stuff in here as well. And if we just scroll down, we can see the slots down here, which we've already gone over this. We can also change the location of the server as well by selecting in here, and we can select the location of our server, which I recommend to choose the closest location to you, as you will have the best connection to your server. So make sure you select the closest one. And what you're going to want to do from here is just click on order now if you want to order a server. Or you can just select one of these here and click on order. But I'm going to set this big one down here. Order now PC. And in here, what we can do is we can actually just change the location in here if we want to. Down here we can choose the servers. I'm going to select server one. Down here we've got the slots. So you can change the slots if you want to. If you scroll down further, we can actually change the billing cycle. And we've also got the map as well. So you can change the map here as well. So once you've added some information in here to actually set up an account, scroll down even more. And down here, we can actually see we're actually getting a discount at the moment. And automatically, it has applied a discount code in here, which I think is 20% off your first order. So pretty good. And you can also check out for credit card and PayPal and then click on order now. So that is how you get a Daisy server on survival servers. Next, we're going to check out the next server hosting. Now, GTX Gaming has some really good high quality servers. And I definitely do recommend them. But once you are here, what you're going to want to do is just scroll down. You can see Daisy is just here. If you can't find Daisy here, you can just search down here by clicking on here. Then what you could do is scroll down even more. And in here, you just simply just type in Daisy and it will come up down here. But for me, I'm going to just click on it just here. Click on that one. And from here, what we can do is we can actually select the size of server we want. Now you can do a custom server, which we have to contact them for that. Or we can select one of these packages here. They do uh, provide us just here. If we scroll down, we can see even more information about the server hosting. If you want to look at some of this stuff and down here, you can see all the locations they do support. And if we scroll down even further, we can also see all the other stuff they do offer as well. You can get all maps support and you get 24 seven customer support. You also get a DDoS protection over here. So pretty good as well. And you also get a 24 hour refund. So if you're not happy with your server, you can get a refund. They also do support Steam Workshop support. So that is pretty good as well. And you also got the DayZ Sync support over here as well. And they also do have step-by-step -step guides. So if you don't know how to set up your server, they will show you how to do that. Now, if you scroll down even more, you can actually see their control panel and what that actually looks like. So if you select in here, you can see what this looks like. So you can do that from in here. I'm going to go back up and I'm actually going to select one of these servers up here. So for the first package, you actually get 10 player slots. You get 8 gigabytes of RAM. You also get some pretty high clock speeds as well for the CPU. You get a normal CPU priority and you get 100 gigabytes SSD storage. But if you need more than that, you can select this one over here, which you will get even more RAM, more player slots, and you also get a high CPU priority. But if you need even more than that, you can come over here to 60 players, 16 gigabytes of RAM, a higher CPU and a high time CPU priority and 120 gigabytes SSD storage. So select the best one for you. For me, I'm going to select this one just here and click on create now. In here, we could do a few more options. So basically in here, we can change the player slots if we want to, if you want to do that. Over here, you choose a location. So you've got a bunch of locations in here. Select the closest one to you. Down here, we've also got the memory allowance. So down here, we can select more memory if we want to do that. We've also got the hard disk, which we can bump that up if we want to as well. 
We've also got the CPU clock boost. If you want to boost up this as well, the CPU, that'll make your server run even smoother. Also the disk space, you can bump this up as well. The CPU priority, you can bump this up as well if you want to, that'll make your server run even better if you want to do that. And here we've got a VIP priority uh, support just here if you want that, uh, but you don't have to get that one, but it's up to you if you want that. Once you've done that, just click on uh, continue over here. And that is how you get your own server on GTX Gaming. Now GTX Gaming does have some really good high quality servers, but the best server hosting out of these two is Host Havoc. Host Havoc has really good high quality servers. They also do have a less selection of games, but we are only interested in DayZ, which is over here at the moment. But if you can't find DayZ over here, you can come up to game servers up here, click on that. Then once you do that, just simply scroll down and down here we can literally just type DayZ like that and here it is just here. Also, they can start up pretty cheap. Now once you've clicked on DayZ, simply scroll down and here we can change the player slots if we want to, so pretty good. Come down even further, we can change the location of the server. Now I do recommend choosing the closest one to you, so for me it's the UK. Now if we scroll down even further, we can actually see on the uh, processor stuff they use, so the high performance uh, hardware they use for the servers, which is pretty good stuff right here. So they use the Xeon and Ryzen CPUs, which is some of the better stuff at the moment. We've also got the DDR4 and DDR5 memory, and we also got an SSD drive as well, so pretty good here as well. We come down we can see what the uh, launcher looks like or your dashboard in here we've got a bunch of stuff we could do uh, so you can see some of the stuff they do support right up here but to order your server simply scroll back up and what you're going to want to do is click on rent game server click on that and from here what we can do is we can actually select a little bit more so if you want a higher cpu priority you can just select this one here this will make your server run even better we could also change the ram as well if you want to bump that up as well the more ram you've got the smoother your server will run and up here we can actually see what we're getting with our server instant setup which is great a ddos protection here as well and we also get this other stuff in here as well which is customer support and stuff like that and over this side we can actually see even more information about our server what we are getting and once you've done that we're going to want to do is going to continue from there you're probably having to set an account up adding the payment details and then you'll be able to set up your server so be sure to check out host havoc as they have some really good high quality servers also gtx gaming is really good as well and if you're not too sure about host havoc or gtx gaming check out the survival servers but that is the best top three server hostings for DayZ. So if you enjoyed this video or even found it helpful, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time.